back end just going down. <laughs> you rough swear word. This is how you end up single then. Right then, welcome to Drum Clog on a fine Scottish morning. For once it's not actually raining. I think I've been to Scotland three times. Every time it's been raining, apart from today, which is good. We've got plenty of cars here, Tuaregs, we've got the Scrapper Rock, Ray's here with his Armour Rock and Alex in his L200. But if you've not heard of Drum Clog before, this is basically the biggest off-road centre in the UK. So we've never been here before. Before I'd even done the intro, Rob had gone out in his van and managed to get stuck. To me, it sounds like it's going to be a good day. So we've got the drone, we've got plenty of cameras. I feel like there's going to be loads of action. Enjoy it. So we're just about sorted all the tyre pressures and everything, just about to set off. We're going to try as best to do some kind of little battles throughout this video. So my Tuareg with the all terrains on versus the other 7P Tuareg with the mud terrains on. Uh, and then we've got the Amarok, which is fully locked, front, rear and centre, mud terrains. And then Rise V10 again, we've got front, rear and uh, centre diff and mud terrain so they should be pretty even on paper and then obviously we've got all the others like I said it might be a bit of a free for all we're going to try and do some tug of wars and stuff like that at some point in this video so stay with it it's going to be a good one yes these lads are all from Barnsley as well this man is wanted in many counties very wet to start with been told by one of the locals it's been raining quite a lot here recently. And to be fair, looking at state at some of the fields that we drove past, don't we? Uh, I can believe him. But, yeah, but just look at it. If you've not already seen the drone footage in the intro, this place is absolutely massive. You can see it just goes on and on. And on and on. This looks like. Nice car park for a tug of war later. So, I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage today with the all terrains on. Let's see how they do. So not something you see every day. I think we've got a synchro with us. Well, it looks like there's some big hills at the top of there as well. I'll tell you what, let's change it. We'll put it in low range. First impressions, pretty good here so far. It feels more like we're green laning. It doesn't feel like an off-road centre. I think that just shows how vast this place is. It feels like you're kind of out in the open and uh, yeah, pretty mega so far. Everybody's getting these they got. Rob, I think you're gonna have to try it right inside one. Everyone else is failing.
Now you're scared of Amarok, aren't you? <laughs> Enough beans. Been quite challenging already, haven't they? <laughs> this is like impossible. <laughs> I don't know which one to try. Power. I'm on power, baby! I'm on power, baby! This is what they call Death Valley down here. My turret's turned into a crab, so that's the direction of travel. Come on. <laughs> Gonna be crossed up there. Definitely on the belly. 
Oh, you managed to do that. There's a lesson to be had, isn't there? Not to cut corners. Yeah, in every respect. Yeah, in every respect. Not a good look for V10. Getting recovered by Amarok. Well, you try and follow yeah, through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got all terrains on. Yeah, yeah, I bet. He's stuck. He tried cutting corner. And that's what happened when you cut corners. It did just look like a complete <laughs> Put the Nova winch through its paces there. Rear winch coming in handy, Rob, already. Already. Oh, Just thinning it out. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Quite deep, that, right? Back end's just going down. <laughs> no. It's proper stuck, isn't it? It wants to come back, doesn't it? Somebody else is stuck over there with that twine egg now. It's a light spot. Might have got myself a little bit stuck just while Rise stuck as well. And then still are not stuck. Everyone seems to be a little bit stuck. Luckily, when you get stuck, you can just ring Rob and he'll come and rescue you. Looks like it. Yeah, it failed last time. Everybody's just stuck. Apart from Amarok. I put that in because I knew I'd need it. So, turn round after that bit of a winch. Look at this. All the way up to the front. Yeah. I've not put the front diff lock on yet, so I might just try that last go. If it don't work, if not, Alex is coming. Yeah. Oh. Nova winch coming in handy. <laughs> I think, Rob, if you go back and come more left, right. Now nah, you're stuck.
Can you turn right at all? Get a bit of beans. Having fun? A bit of an adventure, not just stuck in a quagmire. So, what, what's it called again? Death Valley. Death Valley. Yeah. Nobody told us that before we came <laughs> here did, first, did, did they? Fair, oh, yeah. so it's your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's that's Death Valley. This is... What's happening, Rob? We've got a winch onto a, a Land Rover onto that. What a nightmare. I've just been told this is called Death Valley. But nobody told me that first. idea to drive through this Scott. It didn't look like this, it's still a harness has turned it into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, perfect. It, yeah, it was like this. I was up. It literally, if you look, wait, do you see how it looks there? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what it looked like when I went over it and then still a harness just sunk further and further. Proper stock. One car, two winches. That's how you get proper stock. <laughs> It's an overwinch. This is a special recovery technique called river recovery. Yeah. You do it in river and you've got loads of traction.
It's good to see you again, Scott. Yeah. Have you been collecting a bit of foliage? that soft what they normally say is you leave your wheels ah! you put middle of your car where it water's running yeah you can see where it water's running you can't get far enough over here yeah i feel like i'm just gonna leave bye, it again. Bye. oh you're going for it we're getting a squash car we've got to try it we're not going to be a squash car we got to win over here no all side of cars yeah. are stuck <laughs> What did he come back for? Yeah, I might skip this one. I might skip this one. If you're doing that, Scott, it's a bit tight on this side. Not that it matters, because this is a bit knackered anyway, but that camera's gonna come off. Yeah. It's like it's touching. Ooh, one the main. Seems to seems to be. I don't think it's hundred percent but Oh we're moving. From the verge. Yeah, 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 I can see it. It's like you've choked all on side. <laughs> oh, it is winding up a bit now. Oh, we threw it. Now keep it right. Now keep picking up. Yeah. It's tight, that. But if you keep popping it right, we're going to tip it. Oh, 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 That's why you want wheels that stick past your car. And then wheels are just rubbing yeah. on it, whereas on these, you, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. pass it more. Yeah, look, look, look at that crush car out of it. Will it touch your body work or just arch? Yeah. Just texturised side a bit. Touching. Oh, I can hear it though. How much do you value your car? Or your paintwork anyway? I'm not. <laughs> We've got long way. Too bad there. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna have to do it. Everyone else has done it. I really don't want to scratch my door, take my wind mirror off. Nice and steady. 
nice and steady. Too bad. What we like, Alex? How we doing, mate? Uh, yeah, yeah, sound. You're all right. Yeah. How's my paintwork? Spot on, mate. Not, not a scratch. You've got a bit of a scratch. Oh, don't tell me that. There's no to worry about. Have a look. It'll buff out that with some teacup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It looked ambitious. We've not seen him get stuck much today. I thought we were going to have to pull him out. Good job you've got that side loading down, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he just disappeared. What do you want to do? Forward or backwards? Keep going, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'll get round him. Have you got a shackle? I've got a shackle on the A soft one, yeah, yeah. No. I've got, yeah, I'll tug it out then. It were only fair that you got stuck as well. <laughs> You're doing your bit right, helping others now. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> he, he moved a tiny little bit. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. Lovely job. I don't know if you can see, but that wheel there, it's not even on the ground. I tried to straddle it and it just slipped over. So, one for one. So you didn't drive, you don't need to boot it. Just take, press that switch off, turn that off. Yeah, no, other way, that's it. Leave that off for now. You don't need to boot it out, just don't have your foot on breaker out. Give it a rev. <laughs> We're not tipped over. <laughs> just grab that rope off them. We'll just put rope on back here just so that it don't go over anymore. <laughs> Somebody come for a rope on this. Right, it's on a funny angle. It was a funny angle. a great idea. So, moment of truth. Tuareg versus Tuareg. Seems a little bit pointless, both V6s, both tuned. It's a little bit windy, hopefully you can hear me. Um, one's got all-terrain tyres and one's got mud tyres on, so basically, see what wind's in a tug of war. You ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs>
arm wrestle. You wait until the person gets tired, and then you go. But you've dug yourself in a hole. I, <laughs> I took my foot off brake, put it in neutral, and you still didn't move me. Yeah, I did the same. Yeah. I think we're both we're just, stuck. Yeah. I think even if we disconnect them, we're probably not. Going. That's what they've just said, yeah. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit of a pointless tug of war if neither of us can move. Warning do not try this at home. This is how you end up single, this. Don't. <laughs> just don't do it. Keep on. It's just soft here, so keep fermenting, keep fermenting, keep fermenting. Keep it going. Oh, Dad! What a, what a, oh, why, why did you boot it so it stopped? Oh, Go back, Rob. Go back. You still got banking. Keep going back. Can you see that light dry bit? Right, straight up. <laughs> Should have stayed on grass. <laughs> really? Jeez. Have you got your front locker in? <laughs> Nearly. Having a nightmare here. We're having a nightmare, aren't we? Literally, all we've done today is get stuck everywhere, haven't we? What's this been like? All right. Yeah. Running theme today. 
is uh, getting stuck. Managed to do it again. So, another winch. Oh, it's just sparked. <laughs> it's sparked down here. Oh, did it? Like here. I guess this is a no. Why didn't you try turning? If this gets up here, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Close. Still fine, it looks better on camera. Hey, look at me, yeah. Look at that. Rapidly you're going male pattern boldness. Yeah, so we've had a good day in the Tureg, got stuck many, many times. A lot of it driver error. Went on and had a turn, she nearly killed us all. Tipping it. But that was my fault as well, apparently. Yeah, I think we're staying at a like, nice farmhouse, not too far away. So we're gonna head over there, get the cars washed and then I think we're not going to come back tomorrow. Not because there's anything wrong with this place, just because we drove four and a bit hours and the women want to go see some different parts of Scotland, not just the muddy field bits. So, yeah, that'll be my Tureg and Craig's Tureg not coming back. But everybody else, they're all going to be here tomorrow. So keep watching and you'll see what they're doing and you'll not see me again. So I think Ryan's already summarised today, but a little bit more of a damage report. Rob has managed to do this to the wing which means that door doesn't open any more than that awesome he's, uh, he's got some fresh compost for his garden I'll be taking that home I've lost this uh, trim got a few scratches around here somewhere other than that not too bad he says Looks like I've sustained a bit more damage here. Um, awesome. Other Tuareg, I think it's all right to be fair. Rock sliders have done the job. The new bumpers front and rear get it plenty of ground clearance, so they've done the job. Mud tires kind of done the job, but I think the terrain's been absolutely ridiculous today, so it didn't really help too much. It's damage report. <laughs> yeah, I've already done it, Rob. I've already done it. And then that's about it. Alex has had a flat tyre, but that's all right. Still the harness is all right, oh, although his winch didn't work. Craig's all right, bit of damage to the rear bumper. I think that's it. So we'll be back in the morning for some more action. You rough swear word. <laughs> You're not working hard enough. <laughs> Go on, Scott. <laughs> Put you back into it. I'm just, I'm going for one game, me. I'm not like you are over in three minutes. Marathon. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're going to bar, Scott. Well, you know, have a drink for me. <laughs> right.